I just bought a new whip Spent a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she loved me but it's fresh she never prove it Okay guys, so as you guys just saw, we um, this morning we started uh, taking pictures for No Evil. So um, we didn't start. This was uh, product shots. For product me. shots for No Evil. I'm sorry guys, I'm a little bit like out of it. Prep just she has, has me. Prep brain already, yeah, guys. I do really, really, really bad. So it's been hard for me to like put sentences together, but. Welcome to the vlog. So yeah, this morning um, we did product shots for No Evil. We'll be launching um, September 12th. Yeah, it is the launch day. Thing. September 12th, which is next Saturday. So we're really, really excited to launch our first merch together. And as a brand new company, aside from Jazzy Fit, it's been um, it's been like a surreal moment. So, so if you want to explain a little bit No Evil and the concept behind it, do you want to explain I think something? It's best to if I do it. Yeah, because it's. Okay, so. Story. We had been wanting to do a clothing company, a streetwear company for a while, but we always knew we didn't want to just rush into something. Like, if, if you take any advice from anyone, always like be patient. Things are gonna come and need to come when they're meant to happen. And so we weren't rushing it. Um, we were just thinking about names and concept, and we knew that one day it was just gonna hit us. And with, you know, last year, all the negativity that I dealt with and all the growth that I dealt with, you know, that's why I made my, my necklace, the Give and Protect necklace, um, because I wanted to give off good energy, but also protect my vibes. And so um, we wanted our brand to kind of represent that too. So we wanted it uh, to find a name and something that wasn't too girly, that it wouldn't just appeal to girls. And Chris and Chris actually came up with the name. We were driving from the mall one day and he's like, what do you think about No Evil? And I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. It is amazing. It just, I can just envision our, like, I can just see it. And so, yeah, that's how our brand started. And from there, we just kind of drew up the concept and what we wanted to start with. Um, you know, like I've said before, we are just now starting. So we don't have a designer. We don't have all these grand designs. Um, in front of us right now so we're just starting out small with t-shirts and designs that we like and we can create on our own um but yeah i'm just really excited to see what the future holds for us anything you want to say uh so this is about like six months in the making mm -hmm. like we've said in every vlog prior to this just about um we did customize all of these shirts everything is brought from overseas so it took a little bit of while it took a little while but it's finally here We've worked really hard at honestly trying to get things right this time. For those of you that don't know, me and Jasmine tried to launch a company oh. like five, five, six years five ago. or six years ago. Yeah. And at that time I had a car that was really fixed up, had a lot of money in it, parted it out, sold all my pieces just so that we could start up this company and it literally failed since day one. We went in not knowing anything, uh, just pick, picked up shirts that were already made and put a logo on it, which was really bad. So we're doing things a lot differently this time. So yeah, and then at that time, guys, I didn't have a big social media where you just kind of like literally dove into the water without knowing anything. But now, you know, thankfully from just the growth that we've had over the years and just learning on our own and asking questions and researching, we've been able to be where we're at right now. And it comes to the topic that I was telling Chris today, you know, um, I was listening to Gary this morning during cardio and he was saying, you know, if you have questions on how to start a business, how to, how to be a social media influencer or whatever, Google that shit. Like people think, people want answers so quickly and they, they they forget that you have a resource right there, the internet. Everything Google. is on the internet. Everything Google. is on YouTube. Yes, exactly. And Gary Vee says that he gets questions all the time. How do I start this? And he gets so pissed off because he's like, I've told you time and time again, Google, Google, Google. If you want to do anything in life, there's there's so many options and resources available to you guys. It's If you're not doing something, it's pure laziness. That's it. That's it. But anyways, we're really excited to get our brand going. So next weekend, September 12th, launch date keep you guys posted obviously through instagram and and follow the page yeah we did just change the the name so now it is uh no evil dot, dot label label okay but yeah no evil dot label follow the page we're gonna be doing a giveaway and now we're gonna get a workout together we're doing back we're um a little bit over six weeks out so um we're kind of lame now which is exciting but it's also been deadly for me and i'll explain after the workout so i hope you guys enjoy this workout Thank <laughs> you.
Okay guys, so the first exercise that we're starting out with is to warm up our back is some pull-ups. Um, I don't know, Chris is gonna have to help me because I just got like two by myself. I'm not really great at pull-ups. So yeah, we're just gonna warm up with some pull-ups. Eight what? Rips. Of what? T-Rex. T-Rex? The fuck? Wow. <laughs> okay guys, second exercise is land mine rows. Not T-Bar or T-Rex, whatever I said. Land mine rows. It's definitely super hard, especially right now with a little energy. We're pushing through.
guys, so it is the next day. <laughs> um, we ended up the workout yesterday and we were both like exhausted yesterday. Yesterday was a tough day. For everyone in the group that was working out with us, Oscar Sebas is actually three, four day, three days out. He's, he's competing this Saturday. Hey, no, we're not gonna start right now. Hey, no ma'am. They get like this burst of energy out of nowhere and then they just start going crazy. Um, but yeah, we were both exhausted yesterday. Everyone was exhausted. So is is like three days, three days out from a show. So we're really excited to go see that this weekend. And yeah, honestly, I didn't feel like vlogging. I had gotten up super early yesterday at like 6.30 to do my morning cardio, come home, shower, wash my hair. And I say wash my hair because you ladies know when you wash your hair, it takes way longer to get ready. Get ready, go to shoot one, drop off Chris, go to shoot two. It was just a long day, but I slept like a baby. I fell asleep on Chris's live yesterday, like so much. Watching TV. I was just like, <laughs> he's like, do you want to watch it? Because we we're uh, watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine, if you guys haven't seen that show, it's pretty good. Um, and that's our show that we watched together. And we started watching it, and it was like, what, five seconds in? He's like, okay, I'm changing it. And I was like, why? He's like, because you're literally asleep. I'm like, I'm so tired. So I fell asleep early, woke up this morning, got my first part of my cardio done, and I feel really, really good. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit, Chris and I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, you know, we talked about No Evil yesterday, the brand, and we want to talk about something that we're both doing together, um, and it's something called the Give and Protect Challenge. We should probably put them outside because they're making noise. Okay guys, let's try this again because the dogs are just not being quiet and we just kind of let them play for a little bit. But Chris and I are doing something called the Give and Protect Challenge. It goes with our whole theme of giving back and protecting your vibes at the same time. And with this challenge, I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, but I didn't know how to do it. Um, so basically, I get all my supporters, you guys from here from YouTube and from Instagram and you guys will Venmo me a certain amount whatever amount you want you you want to donate it could be a dollar it could be five dollars twenty dollars whatever and I wanted to do it a weekly thing but it'll just depend on how much money I can accumulate in my Venmo um, and then I will take that money and give it to someone in need it may be someone that I see as a waitress and that she's working really hard um, give her a really big tip or someone on the street or you know just a vendor a local vendor like I just want to be able to help those who are really hurting right now with COVID and everything and it's just a way for me to give back I have such a big platform and I just want to do something with it I'm not I'm not at the point of David Dobrik where I can give my friends cars and I can give lucky winners twenty thirty thousand dollars I wish I could do that because that would honestly be amazing if I could do that um, but I'm at, at a low point so I'm starting out small but it's okay even a hundred dollars helps out someone in need so that's what we're gonna be doing you guys can Venmo me at Jazzy Fit um, so yeah that's what we're doing guys it's the give and the protect challenge Venmo me you can Venmo me a dollar every day if that makes you feel better or you can just contribute five dollars a week you're like okay this is my my week of giving I'm giving five dollars and Jazzy's gonna give it away to someone in need um, and it just helps guys so I'm gonna be doing that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, I'm also gonna be, so let me let me make this clear. It is gonna be local to Houston, um, so I'm not gonna be like sending money to California or something, but if you guys have um, any nominations for people here in Houston, let me know. I'd be more than happy to look them up and you know give to them. So I look like a bruja right now. I'm gonna eat my breakfast and I will talk to you guys after. <laughs> Me and my wife just kind of want to spread good vibes this weekend. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm hoping that I spread some good vibes to you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And that's your tip, man. Shit. Damn, thanks. Is it, is it okay if we could put it in our vlog? Sure. Yeah, what was your name? Alan. Alan? Okay. Thank you, Alan. Thank you Alan. so much. Have a good weekend, man. Me too. Okay guys, so good morning. It is the next day. So this vlog, as you guys can see, it's been in different parts, but that's how our life is right now with prep. We've been, I've been busy with photo shoots all week, but I wanted to make sure that before the vlog ended that we gave you guys a physique check-in because this Saturday we will be six weeks out, which is in two days. So 
This is what I look like at almost six weeks out. Um, I'm at zero carbs. I've been at zero carbs since last Thursday, Friday, so almost a week now, and it's been tough. Um, cardio has uh, increased to two and two and a half, two to two hours and twenty minutes to two and a half hours. That's been tough, um, and I'll talk a little bit about that after I do my physique, physique check-in, but I'll let you guys see. What I'm looking at here is my front. I do my front So yeah guys, that's a little clip of my uh, comparison routine. This is what my abs look like right now. I have a little bit left to lose, just a tiny bit here, but this is it. I have no carbs in here. She's also very pale, guys. Yeah, I'm super pale. So you can't see, see what it. we see in person, but she is pretty damn shredded. Yeah. Do a quick back flex. Back flex. I don't know if I can do a butt. Yeah, that, that was pretty decent. Yeah, the, like double bicep. Yeah, she's pretty shredded, guys. Um, so, yeah, I feel pretty shredded, especially in the gym. Um, this is probably the leanest I've ever been, ever. Like, the weight-wise is the same as I've weighed before, but this is, like, the leanest and more muscular I've ever been. So, kept, like, a lot of my size. So, we have six weeks left. I'm going to grind it out, and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more. Let me get Chris to do his chicken. And this is what I'm currently looking like. This is relaxed, obviously. Um, I weighed at 182 yesterday morning. I didn't weigh myself this morning, but it's probably about the same. I weighed 182.4 yesterday. But this is relaxed. Relaxed side. Relaxed back. And then flexed. And then the back. And I've also still been carb cycling. It's been two low days for me. The last couple days so I am flat. I'm not as full as I could be. And I'm definitely feeling it. I don't feel as bad as Jasmine. I still feel pretty decent. I'm only doing 35 minutes of cardio at the moment. So it's a whole lot shorter than two and a half hours. But I'm definitely getting leaner week by week. We still got a little bit of time to work. So I'm confident that I'll be where I need to be when the time comes. Okay guys, so uh, that was my check-in. I am weighing at 122.8. This morning, I'm actually checking in with my coach tomorrow, so I'll probably weigh around the same, if not like 0.2 less. Um, but yeah, it's been tough, guys. He increased my cardio. Last week, he was like, okay, we're about to suffer. We're gonna go to zero carbs. And like my carb source is only um, like my veggies. And my fats didn't increase. Typically, you know, some coaches will take away your carbs, but they'll increase your fats. My fats are still at like 10 grams, um, so it's really low. The only fat that I'm consuming, um, he took away my whole egg, is just for my chicken. Like the, the natural fat that the chicken has, that's my fat intake. So uh, it's been really tough on my body, I'm not going to lie. Um, the, the no carbs and then the up in cardio, like my energy level is so low. Like it takes all of me to be able to finish my cardio. Like... I've never had to go through something so hard in my life, honestly. This has been really tough, and I'm not gonna sit here and say that I haven't wanted to quit because there are times, like, like there's times like this morning where I feel great. Like, obviously, like I know what I have to do all day today, but I feel great. Like, I'm okay. I, I can do it. It's the start of a brand new day. I'm positive. And then I finish my first cardio, and I'm like, okay, I'm done with that. But then the afternoon hits, and then I have my, my workout and my next cardio, and I don't have food, and I'm just starving. And that's when it all hits together, and I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to do this for another six weeks. Like, I get all these negative thoughts. And that's why it's so important to think about it literally not even just day by day. I'm at the point where I'm thinking about my life hour by hour. How can I make myself better that hour? How can I just survive that hour? Um, and that's what's helped me a lot because if I think about the overall picture of look how much I'm suffering, I still have all this time left um, because six weeks is like, oh, that's not long, but in, in, in reality, it is pretty long. It's a month and a half. Um, 
you will go crazy i will like be like i can't do this like i there's no way so you have to just take it day by day um it's been tough though but i'm not i'm not obviously gonna quit i'm so close i'm right there at the finish line my coach had about nine competitors compete yesterday at a national level show and out of the nine of them eight got their pro cards and so i know that my coach it's crazy like i know you guys are probably like your coach is insane making you do all this stuff and let I, I promise I'm with you sometimes I'm like oh my god my coach is insane like what are you doing to me but he's gonna get me my pro card and that's what I want and I'm excited I want to get there I'm just ready to be there already but yeah guys this year's just been crazy I feel like I started with prep since January and it, I'm still on prep I took like a month you know a month off six weeks off and yeah, it's been hard. Um, last week, I didn't vlog because I had a really rough week. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say I was all dandy. I was I was having a rough week, guys. I mentally was not there. I didn't have the energy to come on here and be, like, super duper positive. Um, I was honestly, like, kind of upset the whole week, like, just mad. And I think it's just, obviously, the low carbs, the low energy, and the fact that Chris and I haven't been able to go out on a day. We haven't really enjoyed ourselves. It's It gets to you, you know? It gets to you after you're doing the same damn thing every single day. But you know what? I'm, we're almost there. Chris has been super helpful this last week, especially just he knows I'm, like, dead. And he's, like, picked up, like, my slack, I feel like, with the work and stuff. So he's been really helping me um, as much as he can. And this is a team. Is I know we have our both our preps, but we've been really trying to help each other out as much as we can. And then a little bit about motivation, guys. There's no fucking motivation here, okay? Like, don't sit here and I get emails all the time. Like, I don't have motivation to run outside. Like, I really want to lose the weight, but I just don't have motivation to run outside. Do you think that I have motivation, that these people have motivation to do the cardio that I'm doing to fucking be starving themselves while someone else is eating? Like, that's no, that's not motivation. That's discipline. That's dedication. You have to have that if you want to accomplish your goals. You have to be like, you know what? I'm suffering. I don't feel like doing this, but I'm going to do it because I know that this is going to get me to point B. And you just have to keep that in mind. There's no motivation there. But don't let that stop you. Don't let the laziness stop you. Um... You know from accomplishing things that you can probably regret in the future if you don't accomplish so you know that's one of the reasons i decided to compete at the end of the year i didn't want to regret not competing and i'm so happy that you know i'm, I'm finishing this year off the way that i am even though this is tough like i'm gonna finish it and we'll see what i get you know obviously i want my pro card but at the end of the day i'm gonna step on that stage and yeah guys just a little pep talk for you guys just to you know nut up do the things that you're supposed to do and that's it I'm gonna eat my breakfast, clean the house because my laundry is like piled up on my bed like this high from all week. But yeah guys, hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog so far. Okay guys, so we took like a few days off from vlogging. It's been a crazy, crazy week guys. Like I, we're about to be five weeks out from our show and we just get busier and busier. I get busier and busier because my cardio is so high. I get busier and busier because my cardio is so high and I just, I'm exhausted guys, honestly. I just barely have any energy. I talked to my coach um, on Monday or Tuesday and I was just like honest with him and I was like, listen, I'm exhausted. I don't know how much longer I can do this no carbs, no fat kind of deal. Uh, my body's just drained, but you know, he reminded me of the overall goal, which is to go pro. So. I mean, I just have to suffer. Like, I am suffering. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do, guys. And I'm extremely, extremely proud of myself. Um, I was listening to a podcast on the way from... I went to go get PT today with Israel. And um, Andy Frisella was saying, you know, how when you are... When you're trying to reach an ultimate goal, you have to let all the emotion aside. Um, discipline is not about emotions. Obviously... You know, you're going to have your bad days, but don't let your bad days um, pile up because um, you want, in order to succeed, you want to have the good days overweigh the bad days. So even, you know, if you're having a bad day, leave the emotion aside and stay disciplined to your plan so that you can reach your goal. And it was exactly another thing I needed to hear today. So I'm just trying to surround myself with positive people right now, people who are going to motivate me. Um, and just take it a day at a time. I changed my schedule this week too, just to kind of help 
with my body aches and I'm just taking care of myself right now. I'm putting myself first. Um, but anyways, our uh, No Evil launch is this weekend. I am a size small for all the shirts, guys. Um, the scoop neck one is oversized ladies so just expect that to be oversized chris is an extra large um he prefers wearing the extra large because he likes an oversized fit for the tees but if you want a just regular fit then just stay true to your size but he has sized up in all of them to an extra large because honestly his proportions have changed so much right now with prep two his back is so wide so he needs that extra large to give him more comfort around the lat area but yeah guys i didn't really want to show i mean we could have shown like the shirts um us wearing them but go to our instagram and no evil uh no evil dot label and you can look at all the pictures i have it on my um instagram as well so that you guys can go take a look at them three shirts are dropping make sure you guys go check it out saturday at 9 a.m central time um but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it's been tough i'm not gonna lie vlogging but i need like i had promised you guys that i was going to keep vlogging so i'm gonna keep vlogging um as always please um also Awfully will be having a launch this weekend. I didn't do a YouTube tutorial because there's not a lot of things dropping. But just as always, if you guys can use code Jazzy to support me, that's great. Same with Ghost, um, Pure Con is Jasmine BK, and Squeeze Me Skinny Waist Trainer, it's Jazzy. So, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.